presenting things are free. This morning, officials from the Ministry of Education, led by State Minister for Sports Peter Ogwang, interfaced with legislators on Parliament's Education Committee, led by John Tomohirwa. They were in the committee to present requests for a supplementary budget of 44 billion shillings to support various entities under the ministry, among them the National Curriculum Development Center. I think you have the details, Honorable Minister. We are supposed to interface with you. I'm happy that you are here. The sub-program has been a beneficiary of shillings 44.87 billion, 873 billion presented under the supplementary schedule 1, addendum 1 and 2. The National Curriculum Development Center requires a supplementary budget of 6 billion shillings to work on a new competence-based curriculum for L-level. Of these funds, 1.3 billion will be used to develop the A-level curriculum, 2.5 billion to develop syllabi documents for the 25 subjects under the curriculum, 2.2 billion to develop textbook specifications, sample textbooks and teachers' guides for the new curriculum. But also development of some drafts which we can use to consult the stakeholders and to begin the work of, of finalizing the framework. Following budget cuts announced by Parliament this year, the National Curriculum Development Center saw allocations drop from 42 billion in the 2021-2022 financial year to 22 billion in the 2022-2023 financial year. This disrupted the majority of preliminary activities around the development of the A-level curriculum. We have written an appeal to Minister of Finance Chair and uh, to my uh, minister, and we have also tried to scale down on the numbers of writers that we use. We the Education Ministry requested for an additional 10 billion shillings to print instructional materials for senior three learners studying under the lower level secondary curriculum. But legislators on the committee sought for clarification from the education officials on how these materials are printed and distributed to schools. I wanted to understand what the exact gap is and what we procured because in the justification the details are not given. So that we are very clear uh, where they went and who were responsible for them. But this business of just coming, we procured, we bought, this one six billion, and we don't see the materials plus the institutions that received them. Our oversight function will not be fruitful. When it comes to procurement of books that are written by publishers, the role shifts to ministry headquarters and in particular to instructional materials unit. I feel we must provide this to the committee because there is no need of us failing to give this information to the committee. And I want to ask them, they must be able to produce this information to give it to the Send committee. Someone. The National Curriculum Development Center also threw more light on how it's addressing some of the challenges encountered by teachers while implementing the lower level secondary curriculum. The train, uh, training the teachers and the training will continue for the next 10 years plus because they need to get proper capacity. We are going to continue building their capacity. Joyce Nakato, NTV Tonight.